Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through the new 2018-2019 Deluxe Monthly Planner from Erin Condren. As well as I'm going to be sharing what I'm going to be using this particular planner for this year as well as how I'm kind of setting stuff up. I haven't set up anything specific just yet, but I've putting notes in here and all that good stuff. So I just want to show you how I'm going to use it. I want to start out this video by saying thank you to the Erin Condren team. They so graciously let me pick out a planner to show you guys. So let's move it right along. First off, the Woven Wonder pattern. I am kind of obsessed with this pattern. I don't think since I've been using Erin Condren, which has been a few years, I don't think I've been this excited about a pattern style for the year as I am about this one. I actually have the washi tape sitting right here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna have my accessories video up before this one, so if I have that video up already, I will um, link it up in a card for you guys. But I decided to go with a neutral cover, it just says FDE on it. This one I'm actually gonna be using for all things favorite daughter Emily. As some of you know that watch some of my budgeting videos or have been a long time subscriber, I do actually have my own LLC that I run a bunch of things through so this is gonna be like this so this also encompasses like my YouTube and things like that we'll get into that in a little bit but um, the cover choice I did was obviously the woven wonder and I personalized it and I did the white personalization and I believe that this cover is in the light taupe if I am not mistaken so it's just one of the removable covers. And then when you open it up, it says deluxe monthly planner and you can put your info right there. And I did get the colorful version and um, I like mine for the calendar year. I know some people really like different options. There are other options on the website. I will link that down below. Just to let you know, if it's your first time ordering through Erin Condren, there is a special link for you to get $10 off of your first purchase. If you create a profile and sign up, you'll get a couple emails from Erin Condren. One of them will be a $10 off coupon code. What's really awesome is you get the $10 off coupon code and then when your item ships, I get a coupon code as well to host giveaways or buy products so I can show you guys and you know, things like that. So you open up the first page and and it's the Woven Wonder pattern and it says, you have everything inside you to be and do anything you want. And then it has a little tab that's 2018, 2019. And then it's got 2000 or like July, 2018 through December of 2019. I believe you can get the pad or the patterns. I'm sorry. I believe that you can get these planners in that version. So July 18 through December of 19. Um, these are great for tracking things or if you have certain expenses or however you're gonna set up your planner, this is really a great thing. And then um, the next page is the 12 boxes, all in different colors. I think the kind of idea from this originally was every month you can kind of have a goal or something like that, but you can really use it for anything. But to be honest, I don't think I've ever really utilized this ever in any kind of a planner, but I do like the flexibility that it's just a blank box and you can really use it for whatever you'd like. And and then getting into the planner. I am so excited about this planner, you guys. There are so many different changes that I absolutely love. First of off being the tabs. There's tabs finally. I'm so excited about that. The incorporation of the tabs I think is awesome. It's so much gonna, I think, I feel like it's gonna be like so much easier for me to use and utilize just because of these little tabs, which you wouldn't think it, but clearly you could put on your own tabs. They did release, Erin Condren released um, adhesive tabs a while ago. It's on their website and the link is down below. I think they saw everybody doing this to their planners and they were like, hold on, we need to do that too. <laughs> So anyway, um, also a great thing is some of the sheets have changed. So I'm excited about that. So let's get into January here. And here, like I said, I've already kind of laid out a few different things. So I've just put in some birthdays. There's my birthday, my brother's birthday, and then Doyle is on the 19th. Um, I really like that they have incorporated like they did in the new life planner the next month. I really, really like that. My life planner video will be up after this one, just to let you know, I did finally get it in the mail. I held off for a little while. I wasn't sure what I wanted, but that video will be coming up very soon. So feel free to subscribe hit the bell notifications because that video should be up fairly soon after this. So this is very similar to the life planner, just the way it's set up. And this is what I'm most excited about, blank pages. In the past, they had had that productivity page on the right hand side. And then over here was like five 
kind of rectangular boxes that I never knew what to do with. I used to use this for my budgeting. I will probably still use one for my budgeting as well, but this is not what this specific planner is gonna be for this year. But I would always get comments of like, I do my budget on this page, which was like that productivity page, and I would never use this side. And people would comment all the time, well, what do you use for the left-hand side? What do you use for the left-hand side? And I'm like, honestly, I don't use it for nothing. Cause it's too, for me personally, it was too regimented that I just couldn't do anything with it. I would probably still do my budgets. I'm gonna get, a, I'll probably just get a different planner, but um, I will use the same style of planner, but just a little bit of a differential. But I will probably still do my budgets on this side because I'm right-handed and I, you know, the coil and all that um, for the month that we're in. So like this would be for January. And um, I don't know what I'll use on the left-hand side, but maybe I'll do some like goal setting or I don't know. There's just other things you can do. Um, also, you get more notes pages. So you get an extra sheet of pages and I just absolutely love that. I think that's amazing and it really makes the planner versatile so you can just like make a list. Maybe there's some like home things you wanna do or I've seen people use these for like fitness trackers or if they've like had, you know, just had a baby and has a newborn. Sometimes they wanna put in like all the doctor's appointments and feeding schedules and like weight tracking and you know, like things like that. There's so many different options, which I absolutely love. So there's extra note pages this year where that used to be just like this, where you'd have one page, one page, and then the next month. So now you get two extra pages, which I'm super pumped about. So then we're into February, so it's got like the February page, because it's like a pink up here, and it's the same way all the way around. So yeah, um, and then I put a few things in here. Vloguary, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not. It's whether there's a little question mark. And then um, usually in January or February, we have a, a Minnesota Planner Addicts uh, paid for event, but I'm not sure if that is going to be happening in February or when it's happening. That's why I just kind of like put it over here. But yeah, so all of the months are exactly the same. And then it's got your March for the next month down at the bottom, which I love. And then um, let's go into the notes pages, um, or actually the end of December. I'm sorry, let's go to the end of December and then we'll uh, chat a little bit more here. All right, so here is the notes pages tab. And this is looking forward to 2000. And and 20. I do really like that this is in here. I love the little checklists. I'm like a fan of those. Um, and then in the coming year, and then in the coming year is here. And it's just got everything in there. So when you get those invitations to weddings, or you have trips, or you have upcoming things in your business, or maybe you have goals for 2020, or I don't know, if you have something in there, it's nice to just kind of take this page. And then when you get your planner for next year or the year next, then you can kind of just swap out and put those things in there. I want to show you guys what I'm doing with my notes pages, and I elected to get the maximum amount of notes pages. Um, there's quite a few. I will kind of lift this up so you guys can see. It's super, super thick, where before there was only like, I don't know, 20 or 30 notes pages. There's like a ton now. Um, but there is an additional fee if you want to get those. And I decided to go for it because I knew what I was gonna use this for and I wanted to show you guys. The first page is gonna be for income. I haven't set up anything yet and I probably will end up doing this in a separate video if you guys are interested um, because this doesn't start until January anyways and we are still in July, very end of July. This might be up in August, but I'm hoping to get it up in July. I don't feel the need to like set it up right this second. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing like how I'm actually gonna set up my notes pages in here. So my work income is gonna be on my first sheet. So I get a few different things through the favorite daughter Emily company as revenue streams. So the first one is YouTube. So I'm gonna do YouTube. And this will be just like tracking monthly income levels and things like that. So I have YouTube. I've also got Amazon, uh, share a sale, Etsy, contracts. And then I left a couple of other pages as well. Um, and then I can also use the back side of here too because I was kind of like, ooh, what if I like expand and do something different or whatever, but I can always use the back side because really I just need like 12 lines to be completely honest. So I just left a couple of extra pages. And then this is my Etsy PR donations, the value of the item and also my shipping fees. I just really need to track that for 2019 um, for tax reasons. So when planner groups come to me and ask me for donations from my Etsy shop and 
I'm able to fulfill those donations. I just need to track that. So that'll be pretty easy. I'm only electing two pages for this front and back. And then also Etsy expenses. So there's lots of different expenses that you incur by running an Etsy shop and business. So I have a ton of notes pages for this, but you know, transactions from stores or Amazon or shipping fees or like any of that stuff, just I wanna put into here. This is gonna be Etsy only, but I am gonna go over some of the other stuff in just a moment. This one is YouTube expensive. Uh, YouTube and Etsy are two different animals, yet they run through the same LLC, if that makes sense for me. I elected for 12 pages because I am gonna be putting in all of my either monthly bills or doing tracking as to like how much I'm spending throughout the month and all that stuff too. So I have one page front and back that I can utilize for that. Also the things that I can run through my business legally, I've already talked to my tax professional, do not take any tax advice from me, please. I am not a tax professional. Talk to your tax professional if you would like to run things through your business if you have one. So anyways, um, what I can do, the way that my business is set up is I can take my Wi-Fi, my health insurance, health expenses, and also my cell phone and take that out of my normal budget and I can run that through my business. So I can actually pay those bills in full through the business. Um, also, clearly I'm gonna put anything that I need for like video equipment, products, uh, you know, gear, camera stuff, anything I need for or favorite daughter Emily YouTube is gonna be on here as well as any taxes and fees and like all that kind of stuff is gonna be in here. So I've got 12 pages set up for this. And then I've got a few pages set aside for mileage. I do try to track my mileage. It's so hard, but I do try to track it. I set aside four pages for that and I'm just gonna do like a running tally of like January and then like when January stops, like make a line and then like February and whatever. You know, I do have to travel sometimes to go to events or go pick up things and there's other little things included in that. So I like to get that tracked. So let's move that a little bit. And then um, event expenses. So my fees, uh, food while I'm there, et cetera, anything else that I'm you know, spending while there. So I did a couple of sheets for this. Um, I did four sheets for myself, but um, like I said, I go to, I don't know if I said this, but there's two paid for events for the Minnesota Planner Addicts every year that I do attend and have attended since they started doing these paid for events. So I will put that in there as well as the unpaid for events as well. Um, I can track my mileage and things like that when I go there. So I'll put that in my other mileage tab. Um, but yeah, so I just like to put that in there and I'm not sure if I'll be going to any other events this year, but um, we'll stay posted. Speaking of other planner events, um, I am planning to go to Go Wild this year, so I am going to be setting up my budget and then my actual spending on this page. I know that it's going to be in Las Vegas. I put May question mark. The last, I think there's been three Go Wilds. I've only gone to the last one in Austin, Texas, so I missed out on the first two, but they've always, I think they've always had them like the first weekend in May, but the dates have not been released yet. So this will be kind of my planning page for my budget and then I will put in my actual on this page as well. And I have one page elected for this front and back. And then also there is a, another planner event that I would love to go to next year. It's called Plan Camp. So I'm gonna be doing a budget and an actual for this as well. And then the dates have already been released but there's no location yet. It's gonna be June 28th through the July 1st. If you guys are interested in Plan Camp, um, check out on Instagram plan camp and you'll find it and I'm sure they'll be releasing more information from there. Um, the gals from Design Pandemonium I believe are like the heads of this planner event and I do know both of them in real life. They are part of the Minnesota planner people so I'm assuming, I don't know this for sure, but I'm assuming that the location will be closer to me because I'm in Minnesota. I'm not sure if it's going to be in Minnesota or not but the last one I believe was. I was on my cruise during the last one or else I would have tried to attend to that one. Um, that's gonna be it for this one. And then I did leave a couple of extra pages in case there's any other planner events that I'd like to go to or get invited to, so that's that. And then also I have a tab, and this is gonna be the last tab so far, um, video ideas and requests. So a lot of you give me some great ideas. Also I get inspiration from everywhere else too. I think I said this in another video that I don't really enjoy watching too many planner people on YouTube because I feel like I just kind of regurgitate the videos that I like. So if I see something from a friend on the internet 
I feel like it's like, oh, I wanna do that video too, but am I copying them? I'm not sure. So to be honest, I maybe am subscribed to like three or four planning people and that's it. I know there's a ton of them out there, but I try to limit myself just because I just don't want to seem inauthentic. So if you guys ever have any specific video requests, let me know. This is where I'm gonna keep my running tally and we'll just go from there. So I'm really excited about that. I got a ton of pages for this. So um, like I said before, I got the maximum amount of pages that you can get and there is a fee for that, but I think it's well worth it if you're gonna be using this for tracking lots of different things like I am. Also in the back are some sticker pages, which I love. So these little sticker guys are so incredibly cute. I love the little asterisks. So there are two two of these and then we have our pocket folder just like in all of the planners and then you got the big pocket in the front you got the little one in the back to be honest i don't think i've ever used the little one but i do love the big one um, for like invitations or things like that and then the very back side you've got this kind of blank back cover where you can use your like white erase or your you know eraser what is that thing called wet erase that's what it's called your wet erase markers to write down little notes and things like that and then the back cover looks exactly the same so and then obviously this has the little you know page right here too. All right, so that is gonna be it for my walkthrough of the Deluxe Monthly Planner for 2018, 2019. Like I said before, links are below if you guys wanna check this out for yourself. I'm so excited about the improvements and changes that they made this year. Oh, I should also say the paper quality is exactly the same as last year, so I will not be conducting a pen test. However, if you guys are interested, I will put up in a card somewhere my walkthrough of the Deluxe Monthly Planner from last year, because that's when the paper changed and it's a little bit thicker in years past. So I really, really like this paper. I'm excited that they stayed. I believe it's a brand called Mohawk paper. Um, I'm really glad that they stayed with that brand and it's very, very nice, very thick and very easy to write on as well. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. Also, if you have any video ideas for 2019, let me know. Uh, <laughs> suggestions, I always love suggestions down below. Or who knows, I might do it this year too. You never know. Also, if you guys decide to get a deluxe monthly planner, let me know in the comments what you guys are gonna be using it for. Like I said before, I'm gonna use one for a budget and then this one's gonna be for my YouTube tracking and all of my other Etsy stuff and all the stuff that's run through my business. But let me know other great ideas of how you would use this in your daily life if you had one. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs>